In this video, I'll show you how to use your launch key to start creating music in Live 10. We'll cover how to play and record your own drum patterns, how to play instruments using the new creative arpeggiator and fixed chord mode, and finally, I'll show you how to access clip launching and mixer control inside Live 10. First of all, come to Drums in Live's browser on the left-hand side and click on these drum kits to preview them and drag one that you like onto an empty MIDI track. Hold down Shift on your launch key and press the pad below Drum to put the pads into drum mode. Make sure that your drum track is record enabled by pressing this button so it turns red. And you can now play this drum rack using the 16 velocity sensitive RGB pads. There are several different ways for you to record your own drum patterns. You can turn on the metronome or click track just here and then press record and play your patterns in. Then once you've finished, you can go into the recorded clip and set a loop around your best take. Alternatively, if you want to layer up a drum beat, you can double click here to create an empty MIDI clip. Set the length of the clip just here, so two bars for example. Press this plus button, which is the MIDI overdub button. Go to edit and turn on 16th note record quantization to keep you in time. And then press the session record button just here. You're now recording in a loop and you can overdub as many times as you like using Command or Control Z to undo. Now let's add in some melodic elements. You can find a range of instruments in the Sounds tab in the browser on the left-hand side of Live. Load the instrument that you want to play onto an empty MIDI track. You can now use the 25 velocity sensitive keys to play the instrument. You can hold down shift and press the record button to use Live's capture feature, which will retrieve any MIDI notes that you've played on a record armed track, even if you weren't recording. Using the new fixed chord mode, you're able to play chords by pressing just one note. Turn on fixed chord mode by pressing the fixed chord button and then hold down the button and play a chord with the root note first, like C minor, for example. You're now able to play that minor chord with the same intervals by pressing a note anywhere on the keyboard. The Launch Key Mark III range now features an arpeggiator, which you can turn on by pressing the ARP button. You can now hold down one or more notes and they'll repeat in whatever pattern you currently have configured. To control the arpeggiator's functions, which you see labeled here, just above the keys, press and hold the ARP button and press the key for the function that you want to control. For example, you can turn on latch by pressing here which means that any notes that you press will be repeated without you needing to hold them down.
you're also able to control these four categories of arpeggiator functions from the pads. Here, you can control the ARP mode, Here, you can control the ARP rate. Here, you can control the octaves that the arpeggiator covers. And here, you can control the rhythm that the arpeggiator plays. You can press here to record the MIDI from the arpeggiator into a MIDI clip. Changing the ARP settings whilst you're recording is a great way to generate unique ideas that would be really difficult to achieve in any other way. Once you've built up a collection of clips in this session view, you can set the pads to session mode by holding down shift on the launch key and pressing the pad below session to be able to launch and stop clips. access solo and mute functions. You can also use the dials to control Live's mixer by holding down the shift function and using the pads to switch the dials between device control, volume control, pan control, and send control. The custom mode can be used to create your own MIDI mappings, and inside the Novation Components software, you're able to customize which note values are sent from the pads and which CC values are sent from the dials. You can find more information about Novation Components in the next video, or you can visit novationmusic.com forward slash components. We'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new launch key. If you are, that's great, and we're really excited to show you the next steps in your launch key journey. But if you need some more assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.